Hi, I want to show you some this property here and some of the things that we can do to fix it up to get some more money when we go to sell it later. So here we go. Your walkway coming up though, the concrete is very uneven. Um, this could be actually a tripping hazard for someone, which really explains why we had to sign waivers to get in here. As something like this could be a hazard if someone trips on it and falls. The flower bed, it's beautiful how they've got the stone going around here, but we would need to definitely clean that up put some grass down. I can definitely give you some tips about what's a good grass to put down in these shady areas so that it will grow. And then of course you're gonna have to push that through all the way over here. The grass actually gets a lot nicer over there. I believe that they uh, planted or put the right kind of seeds down. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Here's your gate going in. Uh, looks pretty nice. Of course it's a little dusty and it's got some cobwebs on it right now but that's a simple fix up nothing too confusing there this is a nice door i wouldn't really replace the door or anything maybe sand it and restain it if you wanted to spruce it up a little bit all right so now we're coming in oh okay. so you can see this in the picture but this will clearly probably be like a formal dining room space. The tile is missing in this big area here. I don't know if they had started demo and decided not to. I don't really know what that's about. Can we close the store? Look at these windows coming up here above the, um, above the door. This is a really nice entryway feature. It's a nice store. I love how tall these windows are in here. Uh, you can see though, get close to this tile. There's definitely some things going on with the grout. Um, I'm not sure if that almost, it looks almost like molding to me. I'm not 100% sure. You can see coming up into here. But the panels look fine. This is a nice detail just to be restained. Cabinets over here, a nice entertainment system. Or if you're going to use this as an office, that's, that's still something nice to have behind your desk area. Now we're coming into the family. Lights are not working, which is surprising because whenever you have a listing, in order to get, well, this is the REO, which is probably why, but usually the agent has to keep the, the lights on because in order to get a proper inspection, we'll need all the utilities to be on. They can't inspect the electricity if the electricity is not running in the house. But they've got beautiful buildings around here, nice fireplace. I'm not sure if this is hardwood or hardwood rented. I think it's hardwood. And then you can come straight back into what I call this almost a sunroom. It looks like they had some kind of damage going on right along the wall. And I'm going to bring you in so you can see. Um, over here, it looks like they did a little bit of spackling. Make sure you're showing the imperfections, like right over here. That I'm sure is just damage from the curtains that have been here before. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure. It looks like curtain damage. Looks like they tried to remove something. 
They have some really long windows in this house. And then you're going to come back into the bathroom. Again, the lights aren't working, so I can't turn it on. It does look like there's some kind of spackling that's gone on in the corners of the bathroom. your master bedroom. Oh, these carpets definitely would need to be replaced in here. There's a lot of cabinet and storage space in here. What's that in there? Can you open that door, baby? Closet. Toilet. Additional closet. It's another sink. So you have his and her closets and sinks in this house. And then show it right up there. Not sure what that is, but that's definitely something that will need to be addressed. And then here's an additional closet. So that's a total of three closets in the master bedroom. Very nice master bedroom. As far as your floor plan, so really nice. So we come down this hallway, more storage. Look at that. Okay, here's another bedroom over here. Closet. You can see we still have some issues going on with the carpet. Definitely gonna have to do something about this light fixture. And again, we have this black stuff around the vent up here. There's two closets in this bathroom, this bedroom. I mean, this house is great on storage. Great bones. And then we're gonna come this way into a Jack and Jill bathroom. So right here you have your sink area for this bedroom. You're gonna come in here. It's, it's gonna get dark, but you're gonna come in here for your bathroom. Can you see anything in there? And then you're in another sink area that lets you off in the hall. And now if you look down this way, we're back to the front of the house. And there's another bedroom right over here. Bedroom number three. And very nice walk-in closet over here. Carpets, of course, same thing. And that same black stuff around the vents over here. Not as bad as the other two rooms, but it's there. And the doors. They've put stickers and all of the doors in this house have like kids writing and stickers and stuff on it. Just this door, I noticed that on, and the other bedroom door. Back to the front of the house. Don't take your time, guys. Make sure you're getting everything. Back to the front of the house. We have a coat closet. 
right here. A great amount of storage in the top. And then we're going to come straight across our dining room area to the other side. Here's the kitchen. It's got these doors on here. Careful, right there. And then here we are. Oh, the door is so sad. Here you go. Pantry. We have a double wall oven. Granite countertops. A nice amount of cabinet space in here. I don't know if you could reface, restain these cabinets, but nice amount of space. They already have the space set up for a double wall unit, flat top cooktop. So this is electric. That means that there's no, there's probably not a gas line down there. Even if you didn't keep this granite, what a lot of people don't realize is if you can remove it without causing too much damage, some of these things you could actually resell. So that granite actually is probably the most updated thing in this kitchen. If I was to renovate it, I would rip that granite out and see if I could resell the pieces. People use it for a number of things. Formal like breakfast nook we've got going on right here. And then let's go back into the backyard. Because now we're back in the sunroom. Okay. I can't open this door. I'm going to have to go around through the house to the back. talking about a lot of these older homes have that strip light in the kitchen so it's good that they put the pot lights in there for you already in the kitchen make sure you get under here because this looks like a lot of damage okay and then let's go this way to our fourth bedroom or office space they were using this as a guest bedroom you've got beautiful entertainment cut out right here here's a, another bathroom and a nice walk-in closet And then right here is the bathroom. And this bathroom also connects to the hallway. So this is going to be like your main bathroom for guests and visitors and everything. And then garage is that way. Another closet in here. 
Got a light? Yes. Wonderful. His garage, it looks like it's supposed to be a two car with one door though. We have an additional closet space over here and there's your attic entrance right here through the garage. Okay, do that light thing in the back way. shower okay and that's the house all 2700 square feet of it take you back here to the bathroom hopefully you get a better look the light nice distance i'd have to say between neighbors i mean and if you're watching this and you're thinking the neighbor's right there for some of these newer communities the house, the neighbor's house is right there next to you so actually a good a decent space one of the closets in here step up drop down tub then you've got your stand-up shower over here on this side toilet and then your second closet over here they have on the bathroom door. Anyway. And then it looks like there's another, maybe even another section of the attic, but another entrance right up here. I'll tell you what, you can, if you look in there, you can see right up through to the chimney.
Oh. Alright, and so they've got a basketball hoop set up back here. There is your garage door. But that's the house. I think it's actually a great fixer. Uh, when you think of location, you think of the amount of money people are spending on more renovated properties in this area. I mean, there's comps as high as 450 for this size of home in this neighborhood. Uh, you put a little, you know, you just give yourself, put a little love into this house and you could definitely make a great profit or a great home for somebody. So. Yeah. Get out of here.